So today, I'm going to explain about past, five, past subjunctive. Uh, but first of all, uh, we need to understand what past subjunctive means. Past subjunctive is talking about events that are not certain, certain to happen in the past, in the past time. Uh, I think past subjunctive is almost the same with conditional sentence, but the difference is only the pattern of the sentence. So past subjunctive has uh, five five words that indicate uh, that indicate that sentence is past subjunctive. They are wish, as if, or as thought, uh, would rather, and if only. So jump to the example. Uh, first. First example is she wished that she had had more time last night. So, <coughs> first word is wish because we are because we talk about past. So wish here we need to change it to be uh, to be a verb too, or so it becomes wish. In past in past objective when we are going to use wish like this, uh, the, the sentence needs two subjects, like here, uh, first subject and the second subject. Second sub first subject, a C, and then with come up, and then that, that here is optional, you can use that or you can, or, or not. And then move, uh, and then the second subject, C, but uh, here there is uh, there is something different. Here we we just use with right straight with without without uh, without adding hat or whatever here. But in here, after the second subject, we have hat. And then hat here is the uh, is the auxiliary verb, and then here is the verb three. Verb three here. She had had it. It is a past perfect. I think she had had more time last night. So this is the pattern of uh, of of past subjunctive when we are going to use wish. First subject, and then wish, and then second subject. Had this verb three. So move to the second example. When we are going to use as thought and as if, we also have we also have two subjects here. First subject is Andy and the second subject is he. But the difference is uh, because as thought and as if are uh, is not a, is not a verb, so we need to give a verb first before as thought or as if. Here we have looked why we use looked because this because we talk about past right so we need to change it into into verb two we have uh into verb two it becomes looked andy looked as as thought or as if he had same as with same as with wished we use uh, we also use a past perfect here he had he had seen a ghost we have second subject, had, and then verb three. So the pattern is uh, the first subject, and then verb two, plus a start or as if, and then plus second subject, plus had, and plus verb three. And then move to the to the other example. Uh, I would rather had I would rather he had been here. So uh, it is just like the uh, example before. Uh, when we are going to use would rather, we also have two subjects. And then and then, and then they are uh, I and he. I would rather, but in would rather, we don't use for behind them. We just try to use would rather. So I would rather he had been here. Here we can also use for free or been. It, it it depends on you what you want to use. Uh, but here because because I just want to explain about uh, 
adverb of place, I don't use a uh, verb. So I use just use be where be here is been when you are going to change it into a uh, verb three, right? And then it is uh so the pattern is verb subject um plus would render and then second subject plus hat uh plus verb three or been like I've explained, it depends on you what you want to use. Uh, if you want to explain about uh, if you want to explain about an act or activity, you can use verb. But if you want to explain about uh, a verb place or adjective or whatever it is, you can use been. So move to the last example. Uh, if only here, if only is our. Uh, is at the very first, uh, at the very first, at the first first beginning of the sentence. So you use if only, and then if only after that, the subject come out. If only Sasa had been at home last night. But in if only, we only use one subject. It different. It uh, it differs with the other example, like wish, look, and uh, like wish as not or as if or would rather that. Need uh, two uh, two subject, but in if only we only use one subject. That uh, if only Sasa had, and then it is just like the other example. Uh, we use had been at home last night. So if only so the pattern is if only plus subject plus had plus verb three or been. And then plus blah blah blah. So what you need to remember here, uh, when we are going to use if, when we are going to use would render and if only, be, be there, be, becomes be, right? Like like you can see in the example, like would render and only. But when we are going to use with and as thought or as if be there not become being but it becomes when no matter uh, no matter the subject is first person or third person singular the to be there is still where if the subject is I so the be the be so be that we are going to use is where not not was It is also applied when we are going to use C or he or the other third per or the other third person singular uh, to be here is also what not was. So every subject use where as there to be. Mm -hmm. It is the condition of a uh, past object if I think. So I think that's all of my well, of my explanation, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.